All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate for you the phases of the moon um, and kind of why we have phases of the moon. So I'm going to go ahead and draw out my moon, my moons here. And this is definitely not to scale by any means. Um, I'm going to draw all these phases in. Okay, now the phases of the moon are all about the relationship between what part of the moon that we see and the part of the moon that the sun illuminates light onto. The moon itself does not light up in the sky, even though it looks like it might. It's the sun reflecting light onto the moon that we can see from Earth. Also, the revolution and the rotation of the sun of the moon are the exact same. And because of that, we always see the same side of the moon. So I'm going ahead and draw these lines here. And these represent the side of the moon that we actually see. So we see only this, this half that's facing the earth um, at all times. We never see this back half, back side of the moon or the far side of the moon. Um, and the sun also only sees one side of um, the moon as well and illuminates only onto one side. So obviously the sun is going to radiate onto the moon, onto the earth, and it's going to create a reflection. So I'm going to go ahead and start here. The sun is going to hit the moon and it's going to hit this side of the moon right here. And then as we move around the circle this way, um, counterclockwise, the sun is going to hit this section of the moon. So actually you can like hold your finger up and it's always going to hit that half because it's coming from a certain direction, right? So I'm just drawing in. This is this represents where the sun is hitting on each of these phases. Let's continue to draw those in for you. We got one more. All right. So um, now we can figure out what phase of the moon we are seeing based on the part that's colored in. So from Earth, I'm on Earth and I'm looking up at the moon. I'm only going to see this portion of the moon, the portion that I'm coloring in dark. So I don't see any of that illuminated moon. This is called a new moon. And this is when we don't really see the moon in the sky at all. It rises and sets with the sun and the moon is there, but we just don't see it in the night sky. Then from there, we're gonna move up and I'm gonna go ahead and this is the part that we see from Earth, if I'm looking up at Earth. And from Earth, a little sliver of the right side of the moon is illuminated. There's a nickname for that, it's called God's Thumbnail, I think some people call it because it just looks like a little sliver of moon. And we call this a waxing crescent. Anytime the right side is lit up and the right side is illuminated, that is waxing, okay? And a crescent moon is, those, is that really thin, thin part of the moon. From here, we're gonna move over to this phase. And it look at half the moon is still illuminated, just like always, but from Earth, we're seeing a quarter of the moon illuminated, and we call this first quarter. And it takes about a week from it to get to new moon to first quarter. And it takes about a week for each one. So the whole revolution is about a month, um, about 27.3 days. Then we get over here where most of the right side is illuminated, but there's a little section that's not illuminated. And that is called a waxing gibbous moon. Then our favorite moon to look at in the night sky is when the sun is hitting directly on the section of moon that we see. And so the whole portion that we see looks lit up. It almost, that's why we call it a full moon because it looks like it's fully illuminated, right? There's a whole section that's still dark and not getting any of that sunlight, but the whole part that we see is illuminated. Then as we move from there, from what we can see, now the left side of the moon is illuminated, and most of it is illuminated here, but a little section of the moon is not going to be illuminated, and we would call that a waning gibbous. Then we have here, we have 
about a quarter that we can see, and this is called third quarter. And then here, and I didn't do the best job of drawing this one, but here we have a little sliver, and that's going to be a waning, again, the left side is illuminated from Earth, a waning crescent. And from Earth, it looks like that. So in the night sky, a waning crescent, and I'll show you an example of this really quick. Remember, it's the left side that's illuminated. So from Earth, when we're looking up at the sky, this whole section is dark, and we can see this little sliver of the moon. For a new moon, we don't see anything at all. It's totally filled in. A waxing crescent, a small section of the right side is illuminated. A first quarter, you're gonna see that right half, it looks like half, but it's really a quarter of the moon. Um, for a waxing gibbous, you're gonna see almost all of it illuminated. For a full moon, I'm just gonna draw a circle because the whole thing's lit up and you can see the whole thing. And then a waning gibbous, you have all of a sudden, you are illuminated on the left side. And then third quarter, the left side, which looks like half is illuminated. And those are the phases of the moon. I hope that was helpful.